in this segment we will study what is law of equimarginal utility now law of equimarginal utility states that the consumer maximizing his total utility will allocate his income among various commodities in such a way that his marginal utility of the last rupee spent on each commodity is equal now this law is different from the laws that we've already done because in this law now we are bringing in a second commodity or we are bringing in other commodities and not studying only one commodity at a time in this law we learn how a consumer allocates his income to all the commodities he has to consume so in this law there will be many commodities we we'll, that we will study however for simplicity sake we generally take two or three commodities now let's understand this law in depth this law says that the consumer will allocate his income among various commodities in such a way that the marginal utility of the last rupee spent in each commodity is equal now this law is different from the past laws that is the law of demand the law of diminishing marginal utility in the sense that in demand we had price as a variable in law of diminishing marginal utility we did not have price as a variable but we had the marginal utility there in this law we blend both the laws that is the law of demand and law of diminishing marginal utility and see how a consumer spends his income to maximize the satisfaction level from two or three or four or any number of commodities that he consumes the important factor to know here is that the marginal utility the marginal utility from all the commodities should be equal so when you are consuming one commodity you may derive some utility from it when you consume the second unit of that commodity you still derive utility from it and when you go on consuming many units of that commodity you still tend to get some utility from it though the marginal utility decreases the total utility goes on increasing likewise when you consume the second commodity you again derive some utility from it now this law relates to equating the utility from both the commodities the consumer should consume or the consumer should spend his income on both the commodities in such a way that the utility derived from both the commodities is equal again we see in the definition that the consumer will spend his money income on different goods in such a way that marginal utility on each of the goods is proportional to its price again here we are seeing that marginal utility is being related to its price until now we have studied marginal utility in absolute terms but now we are studying marginal utility in relation to the price of the good let's see how now here we have a schedule wherein there are three commodities commodity a commodity b and commodity c commodity a cost rupees 1 commodity b also cost rupees 1 while commodity c cost rupees 2 now let's assume that the consumer wants to consume commodity a and commodity b for time being he is interested only in consuming commodity a and commodity b 
Now when he consumes the first unit of commodity A, he gets a utility which is equal to 10. And when he consumes the second commodity, rather the second unit of that commodity, that is the commodity A, he gets a utility of 8. And when he consumes the third unit, he gets 6 utility. And when he consumes the fourth unit, he gets utility which is equal to 5. Now we see that marginal utility is falling with consumption. That means our assumption is consistent with the law of diminishing marginal utility. The more we consume of a commodity, less is the additional or the extra utility that we derive from it. Again in commodity B, first unit gives us a satisfaction level of 20. Second unit gives us a satisfaction level of 12. Third unit gives us a satisfaction level of 6. While the fourth unit gives us a satisfaction of only 2. Now, how do we decide as to what is the number of units of commodity A that we need to consume and what is the number of units of commodity B that we need to consume? Because the consumer has a limited income that he can spend on both the commodities. So within his income, he has to spend on both the commodities. Now in this schedule, if I tell you that the consumer has 6 rupees to spend, how will he choose as to what quantity of which commodity to consume? Should he consume one quantity of commodity A and five units of commodity B or two units of commodity A and four units of commodity B or three units of both the commodities or maybe four units of commodity A and two units of commodity B or finally five units of commodity A and one unit of commodity B because he only has six rupees. So either he can spend 5 rupees on A and 1 rupee on B or 4 rupees on A and 2 rupees on B or 3 rupees on both of them or 2 rupees on A and 4 rupees on B or finally 1 rupee on A and 5 rupees on B. So in short, he has to allocate his income on both the commodities. Now how to decide on now how do you decide as to which commodity should the consumer consume and of how much quantity? This is answered by the principle marginal utility derived from commodity A divided by the price of commodity A should always be equal to marginal utility of commodity B divided by the price of commodity B. Now when this principle gets sufficed or this principle gets satisfied, we can say that the consumer has reached a level of equi-marginal utility. Now considering the schedule, let's calculate what is mu of a upon p of a for each of the units. Here marginal utility in relation to price of a is 10, 10 divided by 1 because marginal utility is 10 here and the price of a is 1 so the answer is 10. Here the answer is 8 divided by 1 which is 8 here it is 6 likewise here it will be 5 and for commodity B I know that the cost is 1 and utility of the first unit is 20 so mu of B divided by B here will be uh, divided by price of B here will be 20 by 1 which is 20 here it will be 12 by 1 which is 12. Here it will be 6 divided by 1 which is 6. 
and here will, will be 2 divided by 1 which is 2. Now if you have a close look in this schedule we come to a level where the marginal utility in relation to the price of the good is equal. There is a level where marginal utility of A in relation to the price of A is equal to the marginal utility of B in relation to price of B. That is the principle gets satisfied and it gets satisfied at the consumption of third unit. When the consumer is consuming third unit, the utility derived in relation to price is equal for both the commodities, commodity A and commodity B. He is deriving 6 utility from A at a price of 1. He is deriving 6 utility from B at a price of 1. So here we can say that the consumer has reached a level of equi marginal utility. Now I have told you that he has 6 rupees. So now can you tell me how should he allocate 6 rupees to both the commodities? Yes, correct. He should purchase 3 units of both the commodities. Now he will buy 3 units of commodity A at a price of 1 therefore his cost will be 3 rupees. For commodity B he will again buy 3 units at a price of 1 his cost will again be 3 for commodity B. In total he will spend 6 rupees and by spending 6 rupees he will get a marginal utility from both of them equal. Now we bring in the third commodity into picture. Commodity C which has a cost of 2 rupees. Now if I tell you that the consumer has 14 rupees to spend, how should he allocate his income to all the units? For this, now you will again need to calculate mu of c by p of c like you've done for commodity a and commodity b so for the first unit of commodity c mu of c is 35 and p of c is 2 so 35 divided by 2 gives us 17.5 again at the second unit 28 divided by 2 will give us 14 here we'll have 20 divided by 2 which is 10 and finally 12 divided by 2 which is 6. Now if you take a close look you will see that at the third unit in commodity A our MU by P is 6. Again at the third unit in commodity B mu by p is 6 and finally at the fourth unit in commodity c mu by p is 6. So now if the consumer has 14 rupees how he should spend it is we will extend this table for c the price is 2 and he will consume four commodities so 2 into 4 is 8 8 plus 6 is 14 rupees so this is how consumer can allocate his income into different commodities and he should allocate his income to different commodities when he derives equal level of utility from them in relation to the price he pays for them. This is the law of equi-marginal utility.